it's Lisa, and I'm back to talk to you again about the kidney and pancreas transplant. Did you know that when you have a kidney and a pancreas transplant, they don't remove the old organs? They keep the organs where they are, and they put the new ones in the front, in the abdominal cavity. So on either side of your belly button, you'll have a kidney on one side and a pancreas on the other side. The other pancreas that you had, called your native pancreas, believe it or not, that's still working. It's just not making insulin. And that's what happens in diabetes. The body has an autoimmune response. For some reason, we don't know why, but autoimmune means it attacks itself. And the body attacks part of the pancreas. The part of the pancreas called the islets of Langerhans, which hold the beta cells, and the beta cells make the insulin. The alpha cells don't, and they're left okay. But the rest of the pancreas still works, making digestive enzymes and the things that you need. Unfortunately, it won't make insulin, and that's why you're a diabetic. So when they give you a new pancreas, you actually have two working pancreases, but only one is the one that's making your insulin. As for your kidneys, they don't take those out either, because that would involve probably taking out a rib or two, and that's a lot more surgery than you need. So they just put the two organs in the front, in the abdominal cavity, and they work from there. That's a pretty cool thing. A lot of people don't realize that, but that's what they do. Of course, with a heart or lungs or a liver, they're going to remove the old organs. That only makes sense. There's just not enough room for that much. The other organs, as in the leftover kidneys that are not used anymore because they were the, re the reason you got transplanted, they kind of atrophy, which means that they shrink up after a while. So they're not going to cause any problem, usually. I don't remember anybody ever saying that they had a problem with the old kidneys. But that's a pretty cool thing to know. So what's my superpower? Well, I have three kidneys and two pancreases. Woo! Well, only one kidney works, and you only need one to live on for your whole life to work. And one pancreas works great, the other one just doesn't make insulin. So that's a pretty cool thing. This is another little fun fact about kidney and pancreas transplant. Thanks for watching my videos, and I hope that they were informative to you, and I plan on making a few more. Take care.